Hey, this is Joe Gilder from HomestudioCorner.com. I want to talk to you briefly in this video about the edit window in Studio One. Admittedly, it's not a window I use very often. Uh, I used to use it more, and then I've kind of shied away from it, but it's good to know it's there, just especially depending on what, what system you're migrating from, uh, what kind of workflow you're used to. You may just decide that you love the edit window and want to use it more, and that's great. There are a couple ways to get to an edit window. Um, the first is to just double click on a piece of audio, like this guitar solo here. Boom, it pulls up what we just clicked on. That's pretty cool, just to double click and it be there. And then to make it go away, we can exit out here, uh, or the key command F2 will bring it up and back, which is nice as well. So I like to, t I tend to double click to bring it up and F2 to take it down. What's cool about the edit window and where I think it makes sense is there's really no added features in the edit window. It's just an extra window to uh, see a different part of the song, a, a different view at a different level, okay? So maybe you like to sit here and you're working on a mix and you come across something you need to edit really quickly. Well, there are two ways to approach it. Let's say it's this, this little guitar part right here. Uh, one way is to zoom in this way and zoom in this way, and then we can do our edits. And then we can do something like Option Z and gets us back to our zoomed out state, right? It's not a big deal, but it takes a few steps just to get there to be able to edit. But let's say we just know it's this little section. We can double click, and then automatically we're seeing it without changing what we're seeing up here. Okay, and then we can go through and we can do whatever. If it was this crossfade uh, needed to be moved over a little bit, or if there wasn't a crossfade, we needed to add it in, or maybe this part needed to be faded out a little more. We can do that right here very up close, and then we can press F2 and be back out again. Or maybe you're doing a lot of editing where you're doing a lot of cutting, right? You're using the split tool quite a bit. But maybe you want to stay with the selector tool up here and just go find different things that you want to split. One of the cool things about the edit window is when you open it up, you can, you can change what tool you're using and that will stay the active tool in the edit window. So right now, look, I've got the split tool selected here and I've got the arrow tool selected in my arrange window. When I close the edit window and I'm cruising around my song, it sounds amazing and I think, oh, let me go adjust this, double click. Now look, I come down here and start hovering, look what I've got. My split tool is right there. So if, if that's how you want to use your edit window as more of a split tool function to be able to zoom in and do some splits and zoom out, that's great. One thing I miss, it used to be a feature and I don't think they do it anymore. And maybe it's a setting and I don't know, so PreSonus let me know. But it used to follow me. So if I was in the edit window and I wanted to go edit this part over here in the song, it used to be that if I clicked over here, that the window would change with me. Now it appears what I have to do is actually put the, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> have to put the actual cursor there and then have this follow auto scroll selected down here. But it does also, there everything's independent. So this can be, you can have snap to grid on down here and not up there. You can have it following, you know, maybe you have up here, you have it selected to auto scroll and to follow the bouncing ball as it moves along and over here you don't because you're zoomed in and want to see something up close so you have lots of options it's the same tools it's just basically a new window in which to do that and of course you can pop it out like this and put it on another monitor if you really want to get crazy and go nuts but if you like having that function it's there for you awaiting for you awaiting for you awaiting you <laughs> that's the right way to say that and uh, it's good to know that it's there again f2 brings it in and out Ooh, let's pop that back in there we go Cool. Thanks for watching. See ya.